Hey guys! Hey girls! Hey boys! If you are new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Mari Bajari here on YouTube. Hello! Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieve a flawless foundation, IG approved, sweat proof, long lasting. Literally, this foundation look is my go-to foundation that I do on the daily or whether it's for pictures, for just going out, whatever it is, this is the foundation base that I always do and love because it lasts all day and yeah so if you guys are interested to see my foundation routine then I suggest you keep on watching but before you start this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts and without further ado let's get right into today's video <laughs> Okay, so today I am showing you guys how I do my foundation routine and before we get into any makeup, the first step into a good foundation application is skincare. So I always want to make sure I have a really good um, base and skin prep before going into foundation because that's really going to help when applying the foundation. So the first thing I like to go in with is my Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Under Eye Cream. This stuff is amazing. I've literally gone through like three or four of these and oh, it's so good. So I just like to put it on the back of my nail and then apply it under my eyes like so and then blend it out. And you want to be very gentle when putting under eye cream on because under your eyes are the most sensitive and you always want to use your ring fingers. I like to kind of like pat, not so much of like a rub because I feel like that's too harsh. So just pat, pat, pat. Now for moisturizer, I go in with the CeraVe um, Daily Moisturizer. I literally only use like one little pump and then just take it on my finger and put it all over the face. This stuff is amazing for like an everyday moisturizer. It's not too thick. It doesn't leave your face super oily, but it just gives like the moisture that you need. See, like I actually think I used way too much to be honest. I just put a little bit on my forehead, not too much because um, I get pretty oily on like my T-zone area. So I don't want to put too much moisture. It's crazy because like your skincare routine or like your moisturizer and stuff before your foundation really affects sorry let me just let this dry um really affects your foundation application I actually learned that when i first started doing makeup because every foundation that i used was not working for me i don't know what it was it just was like actually i do know what it was but it just was not staying on my face is either too dry too oily and i remember i went to sephora and i was like i need a foundation but it's not staying on my face it's just slipping off or like there's patches and then the lady asked me like oh what moisturizer do you use and then i was like I literally did not use any face moisturizer so skincare plays a huge part in your foundation routine so make sure you have the right products for your skin type okay so now that I have my under eye cream and my moisturizer on we're gonna move on to some sunscreen you do not want to miss out or skip sunscreen so this is the Elta MD um, sunscreen SPF 46 and this stuff is amazing because it does not leave that white cast on you and it does not affect my foundation application at all like or the how long it lasts it literally it's just there to protect my skin i know it looks white right now but when you rub it out it turns clear and it actually gives you a really nice glow so now all that my skincare is on i have to go in with my fan just to like dry it a little bit even though it's not wet it's a little tacky but it feels good as you guys can tell, like, I literally look like I have, like, glass skin going on. And that's perfect for your base before going on foundation. So, for me, I am not really a primer type of girl. Um, if anything, like, my top primer that I would love, like, back then, I haven't used it in a while because I haven't repurchased it, um, was the Smashbox Photo Ready, I think, primer water. I wasn't a fan of, like, liquid primers at all. I just feel like didn't do much and I was just kind of just wasting my money or maybe I just didn't buy the right primer but I just loved like um, spray primers I don't have one on me anymore because I ran out but I literally have not been using primer for I can't even tell you how long maybe even a year maybe longer I literally just go off of like my skincare products as my primer so 
We're not gonna be using a primer in this video, but moving into foundation, my go-to foundation that I have been obsessed with recently, I've been torn between two, but then I broke it down. I was like, this is the one. Um, this is the Beauty Creations um, Flawless Foundation, a flawless stay foundation, medium to full coverage, definitely buildable. I just love this foundation, one, because it's very inexpensive. It's only $12, and also, like, I remember, I think two days in a row, or not two days in a row, but twice, I was like, at the end of the day, I looked in the mirror, and I was like, wow, like, my skin looks really good. And I was like, every time I say that to myself, I noticed that I was using this foundation, so I was like, I need to share this with you guys. It is very inexpensive, and the coverage is amazing, and I'm not the type that likes a very heavy foundation. I'm more of like a lightweight uh, foundation type of person. I'm not a fan of heavy foundations, but... This one is literally that. It's lightweight, but it gives you the coverage that you need. I like the, like the Your Skin But Better and Satin look, and this is that foundation. So yeah, the Beauty Creations Foundation, I am in the shade FS 3.5, and just to shake it before using it, so of course, shake it. And I just like to apply it on my fingers, and then put it on my face like so. And then I go in and blend it out with a Morphe Beauty Sponge. Also, this foundation does have a scent. Um, it's not too strong, but it's definitely there. So if you're not a scent person, you might not like that, but I promise you the foundation is amazing. So yeah, I'm going in with my Morphe Beauty Sponge. Okay, so I kind of put some on this side, but just ignore that because I want to compare. But do you guys see the difference? Like it definitely covers up my redness and the coverage is just so good. It literally looks like my skin, but better. I love it. And I honestly feel like this is like the perfect foundation color for me. It's not too yellow, not too peach. It just matches my skin perfectly. And then when it comes to the forehead, I like to just put very little foundation. Um, I'm not a fan of like too much foundation on the forehead, just to give it like an even tone, I put a little dot on top and then blend it out using the same beauty sponge. All right, so now that foundation is on, I'm gonna move on to concealer. This is my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in the shade Medium Peach. This is my second um, bottle of this concealer. You guys, I'm all for products that are very inexpensive but do the job. So as you guys can tell, this foundation is only $12 very good quality now moving on to the concealer it is only i think eight dollars and it's so freaking good so i don't know if i said it but i'm in the shade medium peach and i am definitely running out but i just use this to um conceal under the eyes i like to focus it like in the inner corner of the eye that's where i get the darkest and then a little on the edge and then let that sit for like 10 seconds and then I go in with that same Morphe Beauty Sponge to blend it out. And I like to focus the concealer on the outer edge like this because when concealing upwards, it gives the illusion of like a snatched face and I love that look. So that's why I conceal upwards. As you guys can see the difference, my face looks very lifted as to this side, it's kind of just like all right so now that i have my foundation and concealer on moving on to the powders so what i like to do i like to go in with two powders i actually got a question as to why i go in with two powders so first we're gonna talk about the laura mercier powder so i love my laura mercier translucent powder to set under my eyes and i only use it to set under my eyes and around like the t-zone area because that's where i want like the most brighter areas and i don't like to use this around the whole entire face because it is translucent, but it has more of like a brighter tone to it. So I don't want my whole face to look very bright. That's why I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder in the shade Fairlight 10, which has more of like a skin tone tint to it. So this is what like necessarily matches my face more. So I use this one to brighten and set and this one to just set my foundation that matches the color more, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and set under my eyes. Um, but first, I like to make sure everything is set and not creasing because, again, like I always say, you do not want to set creases. So going in with that Morphe Beauty Sponge, tap it into the powder, and begin to set. And I also prefer to set with a sponge rather than a brush um, because I feel like it just 
sinks into the skin better and it just looks more like buttery as to just like caked and patched if that makes sense and I really make sure I set like this area right here because when I get oily I literally get the most oily in this area like nose and like cheek area all right so now going into Maybelline fit me powder I just shake it up a little bit and then I take that same morphe beauty sponge and tap it onto the face before I go in with the brush for this part I use a brush just because I put a little extra powder then under my eyes and I have to like brush it away and then I go in with a morphe mb2 brush and just take whatever's left on the cap and also dust it off. And since my forehead is smaller, I take a smaller brush. So this is a Luxie 512 small contouring brush. And I just dust off the powder. And then after I just go in with like a touch test to make sure everything is set and everything feels pretty set and dry. So now I'm gonna move on to bronzer. So now for bronzer, I love to use my Benefit Hula bronzer. This bronzer has never let me down. I literally swear by it and use it all the time. This is probably like my fifth or sixth Benefit Hula bronzer. I lost count. Like they were the very first bronzer that I use and they're still gonna be the bronzer that I use to this day. So this is actually the jumbo um, Hula bronzer. I think it was limited edition and it, well it was limited edition so I don't think it's in stock anymore. but. It's the same as any other hula bronzer and I'm gonna take um, this contour brush and begin to bronze the face and when I bronze my face I like to focus it in a three shape I'm pretty sure if you do makeup you've heard of this before but if you're learning I'm gonna explain it to you so when bronzing my face I go in a three shape so bronze up here and then down here where the contour starts and then down the chin and neck area which forms a three and that gives you like the perfect bronze and then i go in with a morphe m533 brush and i just take some of that hula bronzer very lightly and um not so much of a contour but bronze the nose i don't really like to do too much of a contour on my nose just to give it some colors all right and then i like to go in with a morphe m527 brush which is a very big fluffy bronzer brush and again just take some more of the hula bronzer and this is where i kind of just go crazy and bronze everywhere to just give myself some more color so now i like to go in with some like highlighting under eye powder so this is by dragon beauty this is the face transformation powder and I literally swear by these under eye powders. They're so freaking good. And it just like brings your face to even more life. If that makes sense. Like it just brightens up under your eyes. And it looks like you got your makeup done by like a celebrity makeup artist. Because I feel like that's the look that they go for. So what I do is just kind of just take this small powder brush. And blend both the pink and yellow under eye um, powders. And just focus it on the area where you want it the most bright so under my eyes and on the sides of my nose is where I focus the powder and this is not an under eye setting powder so you really want to make sure you set your under eyes and then go in with this powder because this is just a brightening powder okay so now for blush I'm going in with my Lunar Beauty Moon Prism blush kit and I'm taking the shade Twilight, when doing my um, face routine or foundation routine, I'm really a fan of orange, corally, peachy blushes. And this palette literally screams that and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm taking the shade Twilight. And for blush, I love to use a sippling brush because I feel like you can go kind of ham with the blush and it won't look too intense. So this is an Urban Studio Stippling 204 brush that I actually got from Marshalls a long time ago. But any stippling brush could work. So I just focus the blush on the cheeks and then I kind of blend it into the bronzer. And then I also like to put some on the nose, on the chin. Alright, it looks kind of harsh right now, but I go in with another stippling brush and I just blend everything together. Okay, so now I like to go in with some highlight and this is the MAC O Darling Highlight. I love this because it's just a subtle glow and it makes your skin just look very like 
shiny but like not too shiny it has like a glass sheen obviously you could build it up but i just like a subtle glow so i'm using a morphe m510 brush and i just focus on the high points of my cheek like so just a subtle glow do you guys see that on the nose and then i also like to smile and kind of just get like right there so since we're here i'll just film my lip routine because it's literally the routine i do all the time so i am taking this um la girl bear lip liner And then now I'm going to take this Wonderless Gloss in the shade Bad For You and just apply that onto the lips. Alright, and then last but not least, to set the face, I'm going in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm going to set this face. All right, you guys, so that pretty much concludes today's video. That is how I do my foundation routine. It's literally... Every single makeup look I do, I mostly, like 90% of the time, go for this look. Although on my channel, you guys might see me do like different um, foundations, different concealers, but that's just to keep you guys interested and make sure I'm not boring you. But when you guys see me post on the gram and I have a flawless foundation look that you might like, this is literally the routine that I do and I get a lot of questions on it. So I was like, obviously, I'm going to share it with you guys. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you guys do anything similar, if you guys love any of the products that I do, or if you tried the products and you love them just as much as I do. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you like in the future. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to mine and Angel's channel, which is Marbajar and Angel. Link will be down below. Also, follow me on my social media platform. So I'll also be down here. I just hit 10K on Instagram. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so go follow me on there. And TikTok and Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. I'm literally on every single platform. And stay blooming, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.